Hello, I hope you've been enjoying my series Foundations to Meditation and have begun learning practical tools to develop your own practice. If you need some inspiration or some help early on, this guided meditation can be utilized. If you want to dive right in, jump to minute four of this video. This is an 18 minute sample platter meditation that includes body scan awareness, heart centered visualization and connection, mantra meditation, and a loving compassion meditation. Please feel free to take any component of this meditation into your own practice or utilize this recording anytime you need to. Remember that my voice is a form of an audio focal point for your attention and thinking is normal. So if you ever find yourself drifting off in thought, gently acknowledge that and bring your focus back to my voice and the cues that I'm giving you. Visualizations are a form of sight-focused meditation, so feel free to utilize whatever images come to mind, whatever experience you're having is correct. When we try to connect to our inner self through contemplative questioning, I'm going to prompt you to drop a question into your heart like a pebble into a lake. There's no need to force an answer or dig for an answer. Simply drop the question and focus on your heart center. If an answer does come to you, trust that you will remember that information when you come out of your meditation. There's no need to grasp onto the answer tightly. Release it just as you release the question itself. In the silent mantra meditation, I'm giving you a chance to sit very quietly. You can pick up any mantra or word that serves you, but remember the mantra is merely a sound to bring your focus back to. It does not need to be meaningful. A very meaningful word can actually stir up feelings and emotions that can distract you. Try calling on a gentle sound that you utilize as an anchor to bring your gentle attention back to this present moment, like peace or love. I offer so hum, which are two Sanskrit words that both reflect the sound of breath. So on the inhale, hum on the exhale. But their contemplative meaning is so I am and hum, that. I am that. That being all of creation or the one breathing us all. Although it is tied to yogic philosophy, there's no need to feel as though it is bound to that. Feel free to incorporate it merely as sounds rooted to your own philosophies or just to the sound of your breath. Lastly, we will end with a compassion meditation that helps to grow both your empathy and compassion for yourself and others. Throughout my guiding you, remember that if you can clearly visualize images in your mind, you can do that. If you only get a sense of what I'm saying, that's okay. If you only know the words, stick with that. Whatever comes to you is okay. You're doing it right. So remember the five essentials. Thinking is normal. Don't try too hard. Let go of expectations. Be kind to yourself and stick with it. Let's get started. Hopefully you're already sitting where you would like to practice your meditation today. If not, pause this video and go to wherever it is that you would like to curate and cultivate your meditation practice. As you settle in, begin feeling yourself in your space. If you feel comfortable, shut your eyes gently, allowing just your eyelids to flutter closed. If you do not feel comfortable with your eyes closed, feel free to cast your stare down at a point in front of you, somewhere relaxing. You can allow the focus of your eyes to release gently. Begin bringing your gentle awareness to the top of your head. You may begin to utilize your breath as a tool to allow relaxation to enter your body. You 
and any negative emotions to release on your out breath. Bringing your gentle awareness down into your forehead, allowing your muscles and your eyebrows and your forehead to relax. You may even feel a warming sensation like honey running over the top of your head and your forehead. Maybe you picture your favorite light, the color or feeling just pouring down over the top of your head, allowing these muscles to relax, bringing your awareness into your eyes, allowing those muscles to relax, into your cheeks, your mouth, Allowing your tongue to release from the top of your mouth and your jaw to go slack. Maybe even your mouth opens slightly as you release these muscles that often hold so much tension. Bring your awareness into your neck, your shoulders. You might even tuck your chin in ever so slightly so that the back of your neck can expand a little bit longer. Breathing into these places in your body, allowing the muscles to relax, the tension to dissolve. Bringing your awareness down your arms, all the way to your hands. feeling them resting against your body, the temperature of the air around your skin, bringing your awareness to your upper back, all the way down your spine to your lower back. Just seeing what it feels like to be with these areas. What does your back feel like? Is there pain or tension or discomfort? Do you find any place in your body in which it is uncomfortable just staying with that feeling? Instead of labeling it as pain become inquisitive of it. What does that sensation feel like? Is it tight and gripping? Is it stabbing? Becoming gently aware of your body breathing into it not trying to resist or fight, just being with your body, with yourself, gentle, loving awareness. Bringing your awareness into your hips, to your bottom, feeling the chair underneath you, supporting you, holding you up. Allowing your hips to relax. Bringing your awareness down into your thighs, into your knees, into your calves, the ankles, the bottom of your feet, your toes, the top of your feet. Maybe feeling what's underneath your foot. Is it your sock, your shoe, or just the ground? Releasing your awareness to expand, to include your entire body from head to toe. 
being in your body in this present moment. If there's any space in your body that still calls for your attention, maybe it's feeling discomfort or pain, bring your awareness there. Maybe mindfully move to accommodate the pain, or maybe just bringing that inquisitive spirit to that place. Why does it feel uncomfortable? What does that discomfort truly feel like? Is it hot, cold sensation? When you're ready, bringing your awareness to your heart center or the middle of your chest. Begin breathing into this space. Again, you might visualize a color coming in and out. Or maybe you can just sit with the feeling of being with your heart center, breathing in and out. You may see a white light or a golden light green light or a red light coming in and out and allowing this area to expand and open. As we rest our attention on our heart center, we drop in the question who am I really? Like a pebble into a lake, we release the question. And sit with any insight or reaction that comes up to that question. And then release it. Like clouds crossing our mind. Who am I really? As we release this question, we drop another. What is my heart's truest desire? Maybe an answer comes in a visualization or in words, or maybe nothing happens. Whatever your experience, that's okay. Dropping the question, releasing it into this space. What is my heart's truest desire? As we release this question, this contemplative practice, we bring in a mantra into our mind as our new focal point. I invite you to hear the sound so on your inhale and hum on your exhale. Sitting in silence, you're bringing in this sound as an anchor to the present moment. And any time you feel yourself being distracted or lost in thought, releasing to come back and focus on this present moment. 
so um, There are any sounds or distractions in your environment. It's okay. Instead of resisting that noise, allow that noise in, greet it, and release it and return back to your present moment awareness. If your body ever feels uncomfortable, bring your gentle, loving awareness to that area and mindfully engage with it. Trying not to react to a sensation, but to respond to it in a mindful and gentle way. Back to your mantra. Releasing the mantra. I'm going to begin to cultivate compassion by bringing to mind either an image or just in knowing someone you really, really love. They can be alive, they can be deceased, but bringing them to mind feeling the love that they give to you or the love that they invoke in you for them. Breathe that love into your heart, into your body, into this moment. And then bring an image of yourself to your mind. Either being able to visualize yourself in this moment or an image of yourself in another moment. See yourself and shower that same love that you have for your beloved onto yourself. You could picture a color, maybe just a feeling surrounding yourself and bring that in, breathe it in. Bringing to mind now somebody that you're acquaintances with, you may not know them well, but somebody that you interact with Occasionally, maybe your male person or co worker, somebody that you volunteer with, visualizing them and then surrounding them with that same love, appreciation, gratitude. Again, bringing yourself to mind. Give yourself that same love, appreciation, gratitude, and compassion. Lastly, bringing to mind somebody that you're in conflict with. 
Maybe you're having a disagreement or an argument or an old hurt is still there. Picturing them in your mind. Surround them with the same love and compassion that you've shown for your beloved, for an acquaintance. It might be difficult at first You are cultivating this compassion for all living beings. Visualize or just know that you're radiating out love and compassion for this person that you're having difficulties with. And then visualize yourself one more time and surround yourself with love and compassion, understanding and acceptance. Breathe this feeling in and begin to wiggle your toes and your hands. Whenever you're ready, blink open your eyes gently slowly begin to acclimate maybe give yourself a smile for having completed a meditation I hope you enjoyed this meditation you can find the foundation of some meditation lecture series other guided meditations and more Ollie content on the YouTube page Ollie at the University of Southern Maine, that's O-L-L-I at the University of Southern Maine, or follow on Facebook for updates and more Ollie happenings at Osher Lifelong Learning Institute at the University of Southern Maine. Stay centered, y'all.